Week number two, Shankopotamus Will Davis takes on good drive five, Jason jumps, semifinal action, Golden T Mobile World Championship head to head match play. And what is at stake? A spot in this week's finals, ultimately getting you to the championship, the world championship in Las Vegas, Nevada, June 26th, June 27th at the Palms Hotel and Casino. Here is Jason Jumps, Pelican on the way. And we get this party started with a hole out early. Jason Jumps from the fairway. And he makes this one. Hole number 10, the back nine of Pelican Grove, Palm Bay, Florida. And we just have a miss. Shankopotamus almost matches. Will Davis throws that one in with a Ranger out of the rough. Almost slides to the right side. Will Davis may have... Mm, Flinched a little when that putt almost slid to the right. He trails by one. Good drive five off the tee on 11 to the bottom of the fairway. Shank with a Maniacs that also finds fairway. Another sniper opportunity. Jason will go conventional. Six iron. Javelin. This will come up short, but he will, I think, get great shot points. 5,000 of them. If we are tied after the 18th hole in strokes, the tiebreaker is great shot points. They do matter. Here is Will Davis, Shankopotamus, longtime player, has been to multiple world championships. His shot is on the way, and it is just short, but he will also get his first great shot points of this match, 4,400. Will, you will have to correct me. Have you been to one or two worlds? I think it's two, but it might be just one. I'll tell you what, he wants to go to multiple. If he wins today and can crack the code on week two in the championship match, he will definitely be making his at least second appearance. So, Birdies on hole 11. Here is Jumps on the par 3. Wants no part of the danger on the right. And he slides that onto the green. Here is Will Davis. This is... What is happening here? What just happened? That was absolutely an atrocious shot. I don't know what happened there. Here is Davis with a chip. It doesn't matter. The Ranger chipper finds the hole. I don't know what happened on that shot. That was an astronomically bad tee shot on this par three. But what does it matter when you're able to chip and knock it in? That was wild. Here is jumps on the fairway. Par five, 13th hole. This will play very long. Here is Will trying to also find fairway. He will. This is a javelin. Will not run out as far as jumps, he will have a long shot in. Will he use a Maniacs? No. He will use a Javelin. This will run out some, and that will run all the way to the back of the green, leaving him a challenging right-to-left putt for Eagle. Jumps will try to stop this on a dime. Sniper up on the way, judge beautifully. That is a tap-in. Here's Davis, 45 feet away, money. Eagle for Shankopotamus. Keeps this match close. Jumps, cleans it up as you knew he would. Jumps, leads by one stroke over Davis. Here is Jumps. Good drive five. He is off the tee into the fairway for this long par four. The second shot, depending on when, plays very long. We will see here. Look at Jumps. Clubs up quite a bit. Swipe is off to the right. Does that take distance away? It did, but it still creeps onto the fairway, or the green, rather. Here is Shank on the way, and a beautifully judged shot should be GSP. Yes, sir, 9,100 points for Shankopotamus' effort. Look at that one one more time. Very nice shot. Here in the semifinal round, 
week number two for a spot in the finals match trying to get to the world championship the palms hotel and casino andy coleman you have done it again incredible here is the drivable par four 15th hole jumps i think he went low t maybe medium did not carry like he should have and Davis has been way left on some of these right pins, just finding the safety of the green. Jumps makes this long putt. Big putt here for Shank, a right eight that he buries. And we are quickly running out of real estate on Pelican Grove. One stroke lead for Jason Jumps. Par three. Floating the javelin in. This comes down. This comes down. And it doesn't come down enough for great shot points. Does Shank Apotamus judge this well? That will come down as well. Very similar to jumps. Neither find great shot points. Eight footer for jumps. And I think this is seven or eight feet for Will as well. Yes. Putt is good. Two holes to play. The hardest hole on this course, probably. The par 5 17th hole jumps, throws out a huge bender with a javelin. That will get the middle of this fairway. The second shot is so crucial. Here is Davis. Missed the palm fronds. It does. This needs to go. This needs to go, and it saves him. He is in the first cut. He can get there from here. But it's going to catch palm fronds and trees. He has landed in safety. Three wood. Does that get over? It does not. A huge break for Will Davis. Three wood from way out. It looks like it finds a gap. It might have hit Invisalees. I can guarantee you one thing. Jason Jumps just said many, many words that are not safe for anyone under the age of 13 years old here is Davis chip on the way and that will be good for birdie and a tie here is jumps with a huge putt oh no Jason jumps has lost this match he misses the putt on the high side finds water will make this one but this is most likely all over but the crying for Mr. Good Drive five two stroke lead on the hardest hole on this course. 18, just need to split this gap. Shots on the way with the Obird. That will be a downhill putt. Jumps must make and hope for a miss from Davis. Here is his shot. That is right, well judged, but it's not gonna be enough. Will Davis with this putt will move on to the finals. Shank Apotamus has upset one of the hottest players in the world. Jason Jumps will lose to Shank Apotamus by two strokes. Takes a triple bogey, a double bogey rather, on 17. Shank Apotamus pulls it out and will be in the week two finals.